Baking bread always makes me so happy and this cheeky little loaf has all the flavours of pizza and is so much fun to tear and share. My pepperoni pull apart is loaded with cheese, tomato and fresh basil. All the gorgeous fluffiness of bread with the punchy flavour of pizza. A match made in baking heaven. I love baking and this is one of my simple recipes that takes bread to a whole other level. To start with, I'm going to add 400 grams of self-raising flour. Traditionally, you'd bake bread with strong bread flour, but don't let anyone tell you that you can't use the flour you've got at home, because you can use it. Now, I'm going to add seven grams of fast-action yeast, and I'm going to drop that on one side of the flour. So then I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to the other side of the bowl. Salt doesn't like yeast. If I add the salt on top of the yeast, it will just start killing it straight away. Remember, that yeast is alive. It's like child number one and child number three don't really get along always, so just give them a bar. <laughs> add a tablespoon of caster sugar and some dried oregano. Now, you know me, I don't like washing, so I am just going to use my dough hook for my mixer. I gotta use it anyway. You could also use this dough as a really good pizza base and then just create a little well in the centre. I've got 300 mils of lukewarm water. Not hot, not cold. Just warm means it just starts to activate that yeast. Cold and it has to work too hard. Too hot and you're going to kill it. Bring the ingredients together and then you can either knead by hand or let the mixer do the work. Six minutes and it's done. Okay, that's ready. Look at that. That dough is stretchy and soft. Right, now it's got to prove. There's something very addictive about mucking around with dough and making bread. It feels like magic. And we need to let the yeast weave its spell. Cover it in a tea towel, find a really sunny, warm spot in the house, and then leave that to prove till it's doubled in size. Baking bread does take time, but for me, that's part of the joy. It's moments like this when I can switch off, relinquish control, and just wait for the dough to do its thing. Look at that. You can definitely see when it's doubled in size. And if you've got any bread baking fears, right now you should be really happy because it's happening. Let's knock the air out of this dough. Any pockets of air could ruin the shape. Go! It's gone. Go, go, go. It's not aggression, guys. It's just bread baking. Anywhere where you get to use your hands and watch things change, that's what I love about bread baking. So I've got my rolling pin, lots of flour, because it is still quite a sticky dough. So we want a rectangle shape, and I'm not even going to measure it. I'm just using a standard size cheese slice. I'm going to use eight of these, four across, Two down. Anything that tastes like pizza is a winner for me. So, I am going to use a tomatoey hot sauce. Just because it's easy. Then, cheese. So, we've got eight slices of cheese. Perfect measuring, I would say. And then the all important spicy pepperoni. Two per slice. This is fun. You're going to love it and top it off with some gorgeous fresh basil. Now here comes the clever bit, where this regular loaf becomes a pull apart. Chop it up into squares. So this is the best bit. Okay, let me roll up them sleeves. Grab the square and, you know, don't worry if it feels like it's coming apart. You made this dough, it's your dough, own it. And then fold it in half and push it in. When it's baked, it'll look like a single loaf but you'll have the sheer pleasure of being able to rip it apart with ease. If you've never baked bread before, do this. Make something fun, make something memorable. Put your loaf somewhere warm and prove it for 15 minutes before it goes in the oven. I love baking bread on a lazy day when I'm not pushed for time. Oh, yes. Look at that! Woo. Ha, 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 ha! 
Look at all of those layers that we folded. And now, just to finish it off, I'm going to give it just a quick brush with some good olive oil. Stick it in the middle of the table, lovely and hot, straight out of the oven, and you get your hands in and you pull it apart. My pepperoni pull-apart has all the tastiness of pizza, but with the added bonus of being able to tear and share it with your favourite people. You tear it and you don't share it sometimes. 